Hello everyone and welcome back to Classic Comics. Today I'm reviewing Future State's Wonder Woman number two. So again, the story and art in this issue are by Joel Jones. Uh, you can see there. And the cover, I mean the cover's fine. You know, the art is good but it doesn't really excite me or anything. So <laughs> and by the way, if I sound unenthused, that's because I am. So let's just get into this. So Yara is in Hades and is trying to take the ferry across the river Styx to find a fellow Amazon who died and return her to the land of the living. At the end of last issue, Cerberus, the guard of the entrance to Hades, attacked her. Now this little elf girl or whatever tells her that you need to hurry because the ferry across the river Styx is leaving and you need to get on before it leaves. So Yara uses her golden bolas or lasso or whatever to <laughs> snag Charon, that's the ferryman, Charon, snag his arm and she yanks it off and then throws it so Cerberus chases after it like a stick. And then she jumps onto the boat and, <laughs> I mean, it's just dumb. Just, you know, the whole, the whole reason the dog showed up was because at the end of last issue, of course, you need a coin to get across the river. You've got to pay the ferryman a coin, right? And there was this long line of all these other souls waiting to get on the boat. But then she stole a coin from one of the other spirits, one of the dead people, because, you know, that's what heroes do. And <laughs> she... And then Cerberus showed up. So now all the other dead people have just vanished. And then she jumps onto the boat. Does she even... The coin never comes up again. Does she even pay him? I mean, I don't know. It's just just sloppy, sloppy writing, in my opinion. Anyway, she gets into Hades. And she's confronted by these three sort of spirits of the dead. And then she tries to... And they're threatening to all kinds of awful punishments on her. And then she tries to distract them by doing the detaching thumb trick. You know, where you pretend to pull your thumb off and then put it back on. I mean... <laughs> you know, which works fine on three-year-olds. On immortal death spirits, I would think it doesn't work so well. But anyway. So Hades shows up. And he's not happy that she's here. And then she says, you know, I want my friend returned and Hades is like how dare you curse your insolence blah 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 then his wife Persephone shows up and she convinces Hades to give her a chance so he says look you can find if you can find your friend before the sands in this hourglass run out then you can take her but if not then she stays and I get your soul as well so then she goes out into all these spirits of the dead to try and find her friend and then we get these flashbacks to Themyscira and there's a battle with I don't know somebody we don't know and her friend is dangling from a cliff uh the Amazons are supposed to have pretty much superhuman strength so I think that her hanging from a cliff isn't that big a problem couldn't she pull herself up fairly easily Ugh, I mean whatever but anyway she tries to save her friend she fails the friend falls to her death so that's why she's here, and she finds her friend, uh, Potira, I think is her name, Potira. They're reunited, and Hades isn't happy, and then they, I guess Hades sends these kind of weird bug things to attack them. So they flee into these caves, they can't find a way out. So Yara kicks down a wall to crush the bugs in a cave-in, but it works too well, and then the cave-in traps her friend as well. She tries to pull her friend free from the rubble, but can't for some reason. And then the roof opens up, and it's their fellow Amazons who then pull her out and say, we can't lose you to Hades, you have to come with us. And they pull her out of Hades up back to the surface world, which if you can get into the land of Hades just by digging a hole in the ground, then why, why all this business with the river and all that? Why didn't she just... Uh, yeah, whatever. Who cares, right? Who cares? 
doesn't matter anyway. And she's like, no, stop, no. Oh, I failed, I failed. Save my friend. And then her Pegasus shows up and like nuzzles, nuzzles her. And, and she's like, ah, ha, ha, Jerry, you're so annoying. Stop it. And everything's, everything's funny. And, you know, who cares? This is all just a joke. I mean, nothing matters. So this thing is incredibly frustrating. Joelle Jones is an accomplished artist, but they really need a better writer for this character, in my opinion, because I found this story just a total waste of time. It's frustrating because the tone of the story just veers back and forth between like this sort of melodrama to being just goofy and silly. I mean, you know, she's confronted by Cerberus at the end of last issue, and supposedly it's this big threat. And then she just, you know, gets by him by throwing a stick, basically, and he chases it. And, you know, the thing with the detaching thumb, I went, really? I mean, how am I supposed to take any of this seriously after that dumb stunt? How am I supposed to care about any of this? You know, I mean, it's possible to blend humor with a more serious tone, but Joelle Jones doesn't have the writing chops for this. As an artist, hey, she's fine. The art is really good, but that's it. These It's some pretty pictures and not much else. And, I mean, it's fine for what it is, but I don't like this style of storytelling for my superheroes. This kind of, you know, every everything is kind of nudge, nudge, wink, wink, ha ha, isn't this all ridiculous? I mean, if you're going to go and make it goofy and satire, then make it that. But don't then, don't then try to m tweak my heartstrings with the story about her being anguished because she failed to save her friend. And then the next page, she's laughing like nothing ever happened. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this. Uh, thumbs down on this, by the way. Thumbs down. Let me know what you thought of this. Uh, are you digging Yara Floor as a character or not? And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like before you go. Also, please sub to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And thanks for watching.